All right, so I put a magnet here over the um, step switch to pull the steps in so it makes it easier for me to work. All right, so we are uh, it, uh, we're in a 2023 Leisure Travel Van Unity that has Dragonfly batteries, 200 amp hours of lithium batteries, but it doesn't have a shunt. Leisure does not install any sort of battery monitor, which is too bad because with as many problems that people have with batteries, they really should do their owners a favor and install a shunt, but they don't. So we are going to be installing a shunt and we are also going to be installing a Xantrax Echo Charger chassis battery charger. So we need we need to pull out these batteries, but I'm getting stuck. Battery cables hung up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we will uh, be disconnecting these batteries. You always start with a negative battery first. All right. So we are going to start. You always start with a negative. Ninety-nine. Disconnecting the negative first. And you want to disconnect. This is the negative that's coming from the house, and this is the positive that's coming from the house. So you want to disconnect this, the house connection negative first. And you always want to treat everything as if they are, um, as if the, there's voltage wrong in, in this case there is voltage because I don't have any way to disconnect the uh, the solar so we are going to be working we're just going to work on this hot and I may only connect disconnect this battery because I'm going to put everything on this wall so I'll just leave this battery connected uh, and then I won't you know, be doing a bunch of extra work. Now they have put this negative cable in a scary place by the positive cable. see how I want to isolate So I'll just remove this, uh, I'll remove this positive. And I'm gonna remove this positive cable 
and put a protection on it and I'm going to move remove this um, battery heater wire and put a uh, plastic protective cover on it and then I'll get this battery out of the way so we'll come back wire that I'm using uh, it's 10 gauge wire I'm using to hook up the Xantrax echo charge for a chassis battery connection so I pushed it through the wire hole in the back of the battery box and now I'm going to go under the rig and zip tie it and pull it up to where I'm going to make the connection underneath um, uh, well, underneath the battery box of the chassis battery. So I'll go do that. Okay, so here I am up under the rig. I'm in front of the front levelers and I'm looking at the bottom at the bottom of the battery box and you can see these cables uh, if you look back here there's a black cable coming down that's coming out of the back of the battery box where it's hooked actually hooked to the battery and it runs uh, to this now there's some little clips Uh, up here at the top which I've already pried open and then there's some more clips over here uh, Okay, and that reveals these connections. So, as I said, uh, these, these are uh, easier connections that you can hook to underneath on the bottom of your battery box versus um, having to actually open up your battery box on top. So, for, uh, for me, I am installing a Xantrax Echo Charger chassis battery charger in the uh, battery box of this 2023 Unity Leisure Travel Van Unity. So um, I'm running the wire under the coach, so it's much easier if I just make my um, battery connection right here and um, uh, anyway. So it's easier. So I am going to go get my wire and pull it up from my battery box and make my connections here. All right, I made my connection. Tighten it back up. And now it's time to put the cover back on. Right there. So I'll notch that out so that it can fit up against it. Go back. Okay. Just cut it away ever so slightly. So it would fit over my connector a little bit better. Got to get it fit into the slots correctly. And push it on. That is nice. Okay, so that connection is made. Now I will uh, zip tie it up in places. I ran it across this cross member. Um, right, that's basically right in front of the jacks. I ran it through all these loops. Uh, connectors that are all available. And then I ran it down that side of the coach to the battery box. So I will just crawl back along and zip tie it in places, make sure it's all nice and secure, and I'll go to the battery box and start my connections. 
All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna take this uh, bump, bumper out that keeps the batteries separated and I'm gonna replace that uh, bolt with a flathead bolt. So then that gives me room to put the batteries together and uh, free up space so I can install the shunt and the Xantrax echo charger on these walls uh, without the battery um, you know being too close or pushing against it so I just uh, you know want to make some more space on this end so I will go ahead and get that out of there and show you what I do to replace that bolt head Okay, I also removed these brackets were right here, like this, and I removed them because I don't want them to, uh, now that I'm moving the batteries a little bit, so that'll give, make it easier for the batteries in this door to close. Here's where I changed out that there was a, a hex head bolt here. I changed out with a flat. So now I can um, let the two Dragonfly batteries share the space a lot more. Um, uh, you know, push them together and, you know, share the space better. Okay, so uh, we are installing the Xantrax Echo Charge in this 2023 Leisure Travel Van Unity. And I'm gonna put it right back here on the wall of the battery box. And then the next thing I'm gonna be installing is this Victron Smart Shunt. And I'm gonna put it right down here in this corner. Um, so I, uh, I put double-sided tape on this. I'm also going to be using these 30 amp circuit breakers. I put double sided tape on them. So now I'm going, I cleaned the walls with alcohol. So now I'm going to uh, stick them in their place, put some couple of screws in it and I'll get on with the installation. Okay, so I've got my smart shunt connected. I've hooked up two wires. One is going to be for the shunt power and one will be for the chassis battery voltage feed and then I've got my Xantrax echo charge hooked up so now all I have to do is make the house battery connection and the chassis battery connection so I will get on with that and for the for the house battery connection I'm actually just going to connect <laughs> uh, right right here Um, for the house battery connection to the uh, Xantrex Echo Charge. I'll just hook into that top positive terminal. All right, let me get on with that. Okay, so the last two connections are for the house battery. Like I said, I'm going to put it up there, that top terminal over there on the Mega Fuse block. Um, but otherwise, I've got my chassis battery connection. I have my chassis battery uh, voltage connection to the um, echo charger or to the smart shunt. I've got the chassis battery to the echo charger. Uh, I've got the ground made on the smart shunt for the echo charger. So, let me go ahead and make that connection over there for the uh, power. This will be the power for the smart shunt and the house battery connection for the Xantrax Echo Charge. And then the last thing I have to do is make a... Last thing I have to do is make a net new negative battery cable from the smart shunt to the Dragonfly battery. So uh, I'll keep working. Okay, I made my connections there on that 
main positive battery terminal coach connection. Uh, so now I'm done with all my connections and now I just need to uh, um, clean up that wire and um, make my negative battery cable. All right, so I got everything zip tied back out of the way. So now I'm done with my Xantrex Echo Charge and my uh, Victron Smart Shunt. And uh, I, lo I like using these circuit breakers because they give you a way to turn it to isolate the the uh, chassis bat Xantrex Echo Charge chassis battery charger if uh, you're having any issues or you need to you know troubleshoot. Okay, I actually happen to have a spare battery cable, so that was good. Uh, so there's my uh, negative battery cable. Uh, so now it's time to put the batteries in and call this job almost done. Here we are. this in here till I'm ready for it. I need my little screwdriver. Alright, so now reattach the battery heater. I think it when it gets in further it slides down more. Most of it. Thank goodness the carefree awning came through. Yeah. We needed it. We've had a lot of rain while we've been doing this installation. Okay. Now, uh, get this positive battery cable back up. Careful. This negative. Thank you. 
now I need I actually cannot see oh so I just have to flip up the little flippers oh flip them down of those little flippers. I can't need to get okay both of the little flippers are flipped down. Oh there it is. You can just see the little green light. I couldn't see it earlier. It took me uh, a lot of looking to to see it. it it's very it, it's at an angle so I can't see it you know clearly like you would straight on. But that's working. Oh I can't see the little blue light for the shunt either, but um, I just looked it up on my phone, so that's working. So both of those things are working, and now I can go ahead and slide um, the um, batteries back into place and get this buttoned up. Yep. Okay. It's the new flip phone that I've been looking at. All right, so yeah. now we're gonna slide this little fella back into place. Okay, so I put the bumper that I removed down there along the side. So now the batteries will not touch uh, either the breakers or the Xantrax Echo Charge. So we're done. Okay, so six zeros, that's the default. So put six zeros in. And pair? Don't leave the app while update is in progress and stay oh, close yeah, to the, the update. Yeah, we got to go through a few updates. It's kind of boring. Continue. And then hit the three dots. Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, hit the smart shot. <laughs> Okay, ah, now we're going to hit settings, and we hit the three dots, and uh, change pin code. Okay, so now put your, what six digit code would you like to use? Okay. Bluetooth enabled, uh, now we want to do a custom name. So, uh, um, I... Oh, instant readout. We want to enable instant readout. So, well, like go back. Yeah, <laughs> it, it truncates it because it only gives you so many. All right, then go back. Uh, update. Oh, now we got to do another update. <laughs> okay, hit continue. All right, now we can go to Jill's battery monitor. And we can hit the settings. And we'll go to battery capacity, 200 amp hours, that's okay. Auxiliary input, we want starter battery, okay. Now we go to battery. And uh, charged voltage, we want that to, you want that to be 14.2, so change it. Hit okay. And then uh, make that 50%, 10%. Now, that discharge floor, what that means is I'm setting it at 10%. Mm -hmm. So when you're reading on here, and it, it, it tells you your state of charge, you know, 100%, 80%, whatever that is, it's really 80% of 90 because I'm setting it, I'm giving you a 10% a like safety margin. Right. Got it. So you'll never, even if you took it down to zero, you really still have 10% left. 10% left, left. Yeah. yeah, okay. So that's a good good thing. Um, okay, uh, tail current four, that's okay. Uh, charge detection time, three minutes, that's good. Pukert exponent, I don't even know if I pronounced that right, that should be 1.05.
uh, charge efficiency factor should be 99. Um, what's next? Current threshold, 0.1, that's right. Time to go, three minutes. Um, now, uh, 99.5. Okay, so, what, where else do I have? Sync. Okay, that's all, okay. Alright, so let's go back. And, you've got a little chunk, oh, we don't have, you don't have any solar. Well, it's, yeah, we don't have solar. Okay, so what I want you to do is when you, uh, your batteries are probably at 100%, although it said 99.5. So what I want you to do is when you get home, you know the battery is fully charged when it's not taking any amperage. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Well, that that's this right here, current uh -huh. amps, A, amps. So when it's, when you know it's being charged, when you know the battery is being charged, but you look at it and you see that's about zero, that means your batteries are fully charged because okay. your batteries decide how much they want to take. Okay. So then what I want you to do is go to the battery setting and down here, see it says synchronized to 100%. Mm -hmm. So because you know the batteries aren't taking any charge because they're full, then you hit synchronize and then that lets this know what a hundred percent means to your batteries well you know that thing up there it changes depending on when i was driving and we we stopped last night it was 14.4 because it was charging but normally it's 13.7 to 9. well yeah what what's going on is lithium batteries when they bulk charge which is they take you know they suck amps because they're really i'm really hungry i want to fill up right that's at about 13.6 13.7 volts yeah then when they get pretty full then the voltage changes to 14.4 and that 14.4 voltage it's strong enough that it pumps you know the last little bit to take it up to 100. okay and so that's what i'm saying when you look at it it should be at 14.4 but it should be taking no amps and that means it's really full i'm there okay and it and it will soon be changing to float which is about 13.4 13.5 but as soon as you see that it's you know 14 you know it's at that that then i want to top, topping top off level of voltage but it's not taking any amps then hit the synchronize okay and then it'll know you know, now I know these batteries, what full means, and then it, it, okay. it, it'll it be more accurate. And that one? No, you never have to do that. Okay. Um, okay, so then if we go back to the screen, um, so this 100% is probably about right, because your batteries are, pro I'm sure, full when you got here. So, you know, it, it's probably right, but, um, I'm you know, I always just like to synchronize it myself. Right. Um, but anyway, so, and then here is your starter battery. The chassis? Yeah, the chassis battery. Okay. So now you can always read the voltage of your chassis battery, which your chassis battery is an AGM battery. And so it being, you know, it, it's it's full voltage is like 12.8 12, 12, 12 to 13. So the fact that it's 12.92, it's full. So that's good. Okay. Um, Okay, it so... It doesn't show you any more detail? No, it okay. just shows you the voltage. Okay. Um, which, like I said, a full a full, chass a full AGM chassis battery, starter battery, is 12.8 to 13. So so you, you can just glance at it. Okay. Now, this voltage will change. Like when the Xantrax Echo Charge is working, uh, the way that works is it charges the chassis battery whenever the house battery is being charged. So if your solar was working, you know, if it was sunny, uh, if your solar was charging your house battery, then you would see that voltage higher because the echo charge would be charging. Okay. So it, it'll be above like it'll be above 13.2 volts, right. which will signify it's charging. Or if you plug in a shore power, then your inverter battery charger charges the house battery. 
the Xantrax Echo Charge charges the chassis battery. Right. Uh, if you're running the generator, the generator runs the inverter battery charger. And the Xantrax Echo Charge would keep the chassis battery charged. So, okay. So your chassis battery will always stay charged anytime the house battery is being charged. So that's a good thing. So I don't ever have to have worry about getting a triple charger? No. I didn't think so. Now, do you park outside? Yeah, it's parked in my driveway. Yeah. Yeah, so no, you don't need that is a trick that's your chassis that's battery what trickle I thought. charger. Yeah. Just wanted to make yeah, sure. So so as long as you're parked outside and you know the solar is taking care of the house battery, it's also taking care of the chassis battery. So okay. that's a great, great feature. Um, you know, that's another thing leisure should be doing. Yeah. Oh, there's but, a couple uh, of things they could improve on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you get a copy of your video? Oh yeah, it'll be posted. Yeah. This is de definitely I'll, one. I'll part. send it. I'll send it to you. Because my mean, brother, I'll send you the link to it. My brother, we're co-owners, and so all of this I need to explain to him. And you do it so much better. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll send you. The